Hi there, today I'm going to show you a little preview of the next game I'm working on. Enjoy this devlog. This is Boonies, a one versus many horror game where the players are stuck in a forest trying to escape, but they have to deal with the organizer, who can see the players and control a variety of traps, as well as the monsters that roam within the forest. Now it's still very early in development, but we've filled boonies to the brim with various powerful tools and libraries, which combined lead to fun features such as proximity chat with Vivox, networking with netcode, oh, I've been pushed off the net. lobbies, breathtaking effects with HDRP, enemy pathfinding with navmesh, a first-person controller with controller support thanks to new input, even with custom input interaction, a mini-map of the forest and the players within it available only to the organizer, and various physics-based collectibles that everyone can interact with while still being synchronized. Our game was made in many stages. It started off as a completely blank UI-less scene, just to test the proximity chat. Can anyone hear anything? Uh, but then various basic options were added and kept being added. Everyone's been pushed off the map. Everyone got pushed well, off the networking, map. Networking and eventually the rest of the features that can be seen on the current prototype. Our first playtest was quite chaotic with uh, six people in one voice channel. Our goal coming in was to fake any systems that took too long to implement for this demonstration, such as assigning one person to be the monster and letting the organizer watch other players' point of views by having everyone screen share on Discord. It found that the proximity chat had been disabled after trying to make the voice channels lobby specific. And for some odd reason, because this big toggle turned off. Why is it turned and off? And of course, many other things that we added to our Trello board. We eventually plan to release Boonies for a small price tag on both the Steam and Epic stores, as well as Itch. Unfortunately, some of our packages, uh, namely Vivox and HDRP, limit to which platforms we can export. Um, so we are primarily targeting the desktop platforms with first party support for Mac and Windows and indirect support via Valve's Proton to Linux. Otherwise, these are my team members. And yeah. Now that was it for this quick peek. I hope you guys liked it, and we'll follow the development of this game. But otherwise, I'll see you next time.